friends, we are with the ninth video in our VBOTS ROS2 tutorial series. So if you enjoyed eighth video of different tools, you will enjoy ninth video as well because we will be learning about two different advanced debugging tools, which is RQT console and RQT GUI. RQT GUI is used to virtually publish or virtually subscribe to any topics. There are many other options in RQT GUI. You can have a look at it. And in RQT console, you can see the logger messages which are passing by your notes. So if you don't understand about these two debugging tools, it's fine. Today we will do a practical implementation. So like last video, you must be knowing that we used our VBOTS ROS2 tutorial package and we did some issues in our nodes and unfortunately our robot was not moving. And finally, we solved the issue. So we will be going with the same process. So let me quickly show you. Let's call on build the project. So once the project is built, we will source the project. We sourced it and we will run the project. So you see here, robot is not moving. So this problem is a nightmare for a robotics engineer or one who is working with robots. So this is a day to day job where your robot stops working for some reason. So today we have made some issues in our nodes so that robot stops working. Now we will use those advanced tools and find the issues and finally make robot move. So to solve this issue, let's look at first debugging method. If I hit on RQT, this is very important and interesting tool. If you know how to use RQT GUI, you will solve many more issues quickly. So for example, if I see here, this robot is not moving. So if we do a basic analysis, here, either the problem is command velocity is not been published or it is published correctly, but not subscribed. So we can quickly check that by selecting a topic, which is command. Well, if I add it from here, if you don't see this message publisher in your terminal, you need to go in plugins topic and message publisher. If you hit this, this window will open. So now I have command velocity topic. It comes with linear and angular. So let's do one thing. Let's publish 0 0.1 in X direction. And for now, we'll not publish anything into angle. So now if robot starts moving straight, that means Subscriber is in the correct manner, but publisher is not publishing correctly. And if it doesn't move, then we know that it is not subscribing correctly. So here we'll define the rate. So let's define it as two hertz. And if I hit here, it will start publishing the topic. So if I hit robot is moving. Let's make it zero before it collides. Yeah, it stopped. What do we understand here? If you have followed last two videos, you know that command velocity is subscribed by slave node and is published by master node. So here this tool is telling us that there is some issue with master node. So let's have a look at master node, specifically command velocity. And here we see we are publishing command velocity to a wrong topic. That is exactly what we expected because when we were giving velocity to RQT, it was moving the robot. So if I do CMD and save this, 
again we know the process now I cancel everything we go to call con build if you have seen last video you must be feeling this redundant but this is just an example to tell you how we can check our topics subscribed correctly or our topics being published correctly so we will source this and we will on the node oh so we see an issue which we were facing last time so here we solved the issue of command velocity but there is some other issue if we want to solve this issue maybe we can have one more solution where we will be using rqt console those of you who are ros users you must be knowing how we can publish the messages or publish the events which are going on in our ros node we will take a small example we will publish messages where we have callbacks so if you didn't understand it's fine we will implement it and it will make sense soon so if you know in ros we had such loggers so we can publish info we can publish warning we can publish error and many more things so for now today we will be using info so let's write infos in all the callbacks so for example when command velocity topic where are you command velocity here you go so when command velocity gives a message it goes to this function which is command velocity callback so now if i have a message in my command velocity callback saying i am getting command velocity cmd vel similarly we can write this in all other subscribing nodes for example we will save this for example in our master we are subscribing to these three right ir left ir and mid ir node so we will do the same thing we will write similar log, log logic in these callbacks so here i'll write i am getting message from right ir sensor similarly i can copy this and paste it in other callbacks with necessary changes where i can write this as left and here it will be mid so now once we do this now we know that if there is any topic which is not getting messages we will not see these logger messages in our terminal so we saved everything let's close this project and call con build it again so that our changes are built yeah you go it's ready now i'll source it and on the project again so if you on the project it did not solve anything for us but you will be seeing messages here saying i am getting message from right ir left ir but here we see an issue because as the number of nodes are higher it is very difficult to see the messages on this terminal so we will have a look at one more tool which is rqt console this is also an advanced tool like rqt and can be helpful for debugging many issues so if i on this come on yeah so this tool is nothing but it is showing me messages with types so here we just have info we can also have warning or error severities 
so for now i am seeing here that we can sort it by node so if i want to see the topics of just one node that is slave node i am seeing that it is publishing i am getting command velocity this is exactly the problem which we solved so our velocities are coming correctly now if i check my master node so if i hit here i am just getting information of master node and i see here i am getting right ir sensor and mid ir sensor can you guys see any left ir sensor which is expected i don't see either so here we get to know that our left ir sensor is not publishing due to some what reason so let's quickly go through code so in my slave node let's see is it publishing correctly so if i go up uh, where is our oh it should be in master node here you go so here i see that it is subscribing correctly to right ir left ir and mid ir so my topics are been subscribed correctly now let's look at callbacks so let's see where the callbacks function is implemented so control f if i do i see a callback here so i see a message being taken i see a function being called and i see logger so if we see in our master node we are seeing right ir sensor and mid ir sensor are you guys able to see left ir sensor so we know that left ir sensor is not publishing so now let's go through publisher of left ir sensor so if we go in slave node we will see that left ir is here so we see the publisher of left ir node if i copy this or find this i see it's only used in one place that means we are not having any publisher publishing to left ir which is exactly the problem which we encounter so you see here sensor is publishing to right it is publishing to mid but not left so if i control v function dot publish bracket message underscore left because it is left sensor so now we are publishing the message from left sensor correctly let's save this let's close this and call con build the project let's source it and here we go so when we on the launch file this is what we expected and everything is working fine once you solve the issues you will see this messages still lingering around so remember this method is only used in debugging mode because if you give such code to your friend or your company your boss may bother you so you can remove these messages from your files the way we added so these are the two advanced methods to solve issues which are rqt and rqt console this was all about today's video if you like the video do share and do subscribe to soft illusion thank you